In this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate the size, crop, change, uh, and even rotate a, uh, an input, a uh, capture that I bring into OBS, any source. So I created a new scene, as you can see here, and I'm going to add a display capture for this uh, point. And the display I'm going to bring, I already have it defined. This is my top number three screen. And as soon as I choose this and do OK, the screen comes in here. And you can see that I'm actually on YouTube at this point. Uh, one other thing that you can see is that this screen does not take the entire size of uh, the OBS uh, uh, window. And the reason for that is because the OBS window is set to 1920 by 1080. I've set that in the settings of uh, video and output. And the screen that I'm bringing in here, this uh, display that I'm bringing in here, is actually a little older display. It's a 1680 by 1050. I don't know if you ever remember that size, 1680 by 1050. And since this is kind of pixel to pixel, what we get here is it doesn't take the entire screen. So there are several things that I can do. Unfortunately, it is not exactly the same form factor as 1920 to 10 uh, over 1080, which is 16 to 9. So 1680 by uh, 1050 is a little less than 16.9. Uh, so the first thing that I can do is I can just drag the corner and move the size. So this would be one way. And you can drag any corner. And it's just a matter of uh, the opposite corner is going to be the corner that stays at the same size. So I, I can decide that this is where I want it. And it is fine that way. Now, I'm going to play the video over there. And realize that if I want to integrate this YouTube video here, this, this is a YouTube video. And, and by the way, one thing is make sure that you do have the right to do what you're doing. Uh, YouTube videos do have copyrights and they do belong to the person who created them. And so uh, in this case, I created that. I own the copyright. So nobody is ever going to claim that I violate their copyright by doing that. Well, but I don't, I only want this part of the video to be part of it. What I'm going to do is hold the Alt button in the keyboard and just drag until I get the exact size of window that I wanted to capture. And that's it. Now, when I play that video, that's exactly what's going to happen. I did not know that. And it wasn't until I got a comment on one of my videos just last night that asked me, uh, how do I distinguish, distinguish between doing alt and moving the alt and moving the mouse to uh, using crop uh, as a filter, which is really what I used to use. I, I used crop as a filter. And I did not know. I did my research and I found that actually this is viable. So we're going to go back. I need to remember that my mouse needs to be here. And I'm going to open it. By the way, if I hold Alt and I drag it all the way, then I will get it uh, until it stops, which means that as long as you see green on any side, that means that there is some more content. And it's not going to go beyond uh, this red and the end of the screen. Uh, if I try to move this around, it moves the way I cropped it. OK, let's uncrop it and uh, take it back to the corner. And as I said, if I drag this corner, I'm not holding any other mouse button. Uh, if I wanted to take the entire screen, I'm obviously missing something in the bottom. And again, this is for a very simple reason, and that's that this video is not, I'm going to stop the other video. <laughs> uh, this video is not uh, the same form factor as before. There is one more thing that I can do. So let's uh, take this back. By the way, if I just grab it and drag it, I can drag it uh, anywhere I'd like. Let me make it smaller. Now we're going to take the top corner. And I'm going to drag it until it hits the bottom. So we're, we're at the bottom here. We're still not taking the entire screen. Here is one more thing that you can do. This time, we are distorting that image. This time, instead of holding Alt, hold Shift. If I hold shift, 
it allows me to distort. See, I just lost 10 pounds here in this video. I, I like this, the way the video is right now. And obviously, if I go wider, I, I catch more. Now, uh, obviously, you are distorting the image now. The form factor changes. Uh, and for some cases, maybe for most cases, this is not what you want to do. But in our case, this is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to show you how this works. And in fact, I believe that the original window would be um, just like it was supposed to be. Uh, so now if I start dragging it, um, it actually became, let's see what happens if I, wh whenever I start dragging it, what happens is that if I leave, if I lose the shift button, so I can change this, uh, change the form factor, but as soon as I let go of the shift button and start dragging it, it goes back to the original form factor, which is great because there is no other way to know uh, to bring it back to the original form factor. Again, I'm going to hold Alt and take it to this size. And the reason I'm doing that is because the original YouTube window is a 16 to 9 form factor. So I did just about the right size. And now I'm dragging it and you can see as I get to the corner that it pretty much locks. And now what I have is uh, I have the window that I chose from the other screen. Now, if I'm going to play it, uh, that video obviously takes the full screen. Now, keep in mind though, that the other screen that I'm bringing in was 1680 by 1050 or 1920 by 1080 for the entire screen. And when I just bring piece a piece of it in, then I'm not really getting the highest resolution. Okay, again, not holding anything. Uh, I'm going to just make it smaller again, and I'm going to let it take. Uh, so I'm holding the Alt button, and I'm going to bring it back to the entire or the full screen that it used to be. And I'm going to leave it somewhere here. So it is smaller right now than 1680 by 1050. Uh, and I wanted to show you that the other way, the way that I was describing it before, was to choose filters and add a filter that's called um, crop and pad. And so if I apply crop and pad, now I can actually do that in a, um, uh, in a numeric way. So I can decide that on the left side, I want to take out a hundred points, looks like a hundred points is a little too much because I'm cutting off the live here, 50, even that is too much and so on. Top, right, maybe on the right, I need more uh, and bottom, I'll do a hundred here. So I did that this time, I did that with the uh, crop window, uh, with the crop, uh, crop slash pad, I should say, um, filter. And I can still play with it, but you'll notice that I can go back to the original one because uh, that crop uh, filter takes precedence. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to eliminate it. Yes, close. And now I'm back to controlling it with out. Okay, I want to show you one more thing. And that is, if I click the right button, the right mouse button here, one thing that I get is something that's called transform. And I can do a, an edit transform and the transform uh, window gives me a lot more opportunity, a lot more things that I can change. You can see how the position has changed. I can enter it numerically. You can see how the size has changed and I can enter it numerically. So probably if we're gonna go all the way here, now we're, we got to the 1080, which is the size of the, uh, OBS screen, but that's not the original that came in here. The original was 1680 by 1650 by 10, no, 1680 by 1050. Okay, one more thing. Uh, I can position uh, where I want to position it. Uh, uh, center, see the corner is in the center, but it's in the right. And I'll just put it top left, which uh, aligns this top left corner with the corner. One more thing that I want to show you is uh, I'll go back to uh, transform and edit transform. And one thing that I did not show you before is the ability to rotate 
I can rotate down to, uh, it looks like less than even one degree. So let's see what happens if we put 30. That's a 30 degree rotation. So keep in mind that you can not just move this around, but actually rotate it. I did not find a way to do that with the mouse, but again, it's not very hard to do it uh, with the screen. So zero rotation again, um, I don't see a way to do that with uh, just with the mouse, other than choosing the transform scene, um, the item transform, but you can actually rotate it. Anyway, this is how you can manipulate your images. Uh, one last thing that I just wanna show you is that in every source, there is a little key or a uh, lock pad here. And if you press it, notice that the red around it has changed. And what it does is it does not let me move it around anymore. Of course, just by clicking on it, you unlock it and you can change, you can move it around. But I just wanted you to know that there is this ability to, uh, if you're worried that you're gonna mess with it uh, accidentally, just lock it. And when you lock it, you're not gonna be able to move it until you decide to unlock it and change. I hope this was helpful. If this video was helpful to you, subscribe to my channel and get notified when I release more videos like this. Also, check out my resources for speakers at thediyspeaker.com.